Nothing says back to nature like a can of Krylon. It's Hugel Culture Day. Happy Hugel Culture Day. Uh, we have decided that we are going to put in a Hugel Culture bed. And Hugel Culture is a thing, solution, I guess, strategy for preparing garden beds where you bury um, dead logs, dead wood, um, basically anything that's going to break down naturally, you bury it underground. So, to that end, we have dug a large trench here and we have all the cuttings from uh, two months worth of saw milling which includes a lot of bark a lot of kind of rotty dead wood and we're gonna we're gonna put it in this trench and then bury it back it takes about two years for the all the organic matter to break down but it's supposed to really enrich your soil and um, reduce the need for water so We've chosen a site that's near the future home site here so that it'll be a kind of a garden near uh, the house, but hopefully the garden will take longer to prep than the house and a couple years will be about the right amount of time to plant in it. So thinking ahead, thinking into the future, um, try to amend this little patch of soil. It's really hard clay right now and really sandy um, loam on top. So. Not great for planting. There we go. We've been running this channel for about a year now, and uh, I like it. It's fun. I feel like it kind of replaces in some ways um, my storytelling that I used to do when I had uh, a lot of friends close by. I'd have a project and I'd come in, come into work after the weekend and I would tell them all about whatever project I was working on. I don't know, there was some um, sense of, I guess, accomplishment when you can talk about it. And so the channel has been that way for us in a lot of ways, especially for me. Um, I worked on a project I didn't talk about at all yet, and that's this. This is my outdoor shower and toilet. I uh, built this maybe a week ago. I just kind of came out here in the woods. Nobody even really knew I was doing it, and I uh, set this up. It's pretty cool. It has uh, a composting toilet that's um, plumbed up for liquids to go basically out into the forest and then it's got a little shelf here to set your clothes on a little hook to hang your towel on a little place for the cow to watch you hi poppy uh, we have it plumbed up for a shower right here which is not completely done yet but uh, if you wait a second you'll get some you get a shower head I gotta hang it up somehow but that'll be a pretty good setup it's uh it's only it's only plumbed for uh, cold water right now so I have to get the hot water set up there's almost always a cow in here with you so that's maybe a little bit of a detriment to the outdoor toilet and shower um, I elected to not put a fourth wall on it just because it's the woods so it doesn't bother me to um, be a bit exposed in the woods I think it's kind of fun to take a shower outdoors so, but now that the cows and the goats have found it, maybe it's best to, 
to secure it in some way. I don't know. We get a lot of sun here in the summertime, it seems. So we decided that we're going to make a solar hot water heater. This is the beginning of it. The idea is that this will be covered with pieces of glass and there will be lengths of PVC or rather uh, PEX tubing coiled within here. They will all be painted black and under glass. I've seen it done online a few times. It doesn't hold very much water. There's no like tank for it, but uh, it'll hold probably a gallon and a half of really hot water in the summertime. So that might be enough to, to wash some dishes and maybe take a short shower. We'll see how it works. bought a can of spray paint and we bought about $50 worth of PEX but the rest of this is made from recycled stuff that came from the mobile home and just pieces around the property. So I'm really only into this for about $54 including the glass which uh, came out of the mobile home. So I'm pumped about this. If this works to get us some hot water it's going to be a win. All right, 150 degrees. That's pretty hot. It's too hot to really put your hand in. Um, it only holds, like I say, around a gallon, maybe a little bit over a gallon of water. But if you figure that that's really hot water, you mix that half and half with cold water. You've got two and a half to three gallons of good temperature water for taking a shower. Since we set up that hot water heater, we haven't had to start our fire, which we primarily use to heat water for laundry. So we've been able to do all our laundry without starting any fires, which is going to really help because not that we're running out of wood, but it's work. You have to get the wood out of the forest, make sure it's dry enough, small enough, cut it down to size, start the fire and tend the fire. And so it's work. So this is actually so much better. By about 10 o'clock in the morning, um, we have hot water out there and uh, that really works for washing laundry. We bought this truck while we were traveling because we knew we were going to need a heavy duty pickup for the farm. And it has been a really pretty good truck, but right away we learned that the air conditioning wasn't working. So we didn't really care too much because we figured it would just kind of be an around the farm truck and maybe haul some stuff every so often. But it turns out we haul stuff a lot. We haul stuff a long ways and it's very hot in this state in the summertime. And so today I'm going to try to get the air conditioning working. I read a couple tutorials online and uh, watched a YouTube video. And we're going to see if it's a big problem or a little problem. And if it's something quick, we're going to get it fixed. Is that the heat up? This is part of the air conditioner. Spent uh, about an hour researching and uh, troubleshooting this truck air conditioning. Uh, check the relay. Relay's okay. Check the fuse. The fuse is okay. Check the pressure switch. Pressure switch is okay. Check the clutch. The clutch is okay. And all I needed to do was squeeze a little bit of the refrigerant off the shelf into the little tube and it started working. So the lesson learned is sometimes just do the first thing because that's probably what's wrong. Low refrigerant. All the neighbor told us that we saw, they saw a moose on our property. So we're going to go down to look for it. We have our pajamas on, blankets, um, some um, binoculars. We're going to go in the truck and... Um, oh, why do you have that thing? And, and, and we're going to go sit down. Moose, 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 moose. And, um, see if we can see a moose. I'm going to try to see a moose with you guys. You think we'll see her? Um, 
Maybe. maybe Let's get in. Not. I found one. Let's get in the truck. They said the moose was down here near our creek. So I think we're going to pull onto the grass and just sit and look out the window for a while. What if we really saw a moose? Would that be amazing? Yeah. No, moose is not real. They said they saw it recently. So at this point in time, Micah does not believe that moose exist. We have said many times that there are moose nearby, like in Yellowstone and yet we've never seen one. So he still doesn't believe they exist. Is that true, bud? Yep. <laughs> Gemma, cute. She's like, I saw a cat do this. There should be room for me. I think there's gonna be. Yeah, there'll be room. You gotta keep your mouth closed. Or you're gonna get it. You do. Are you going to lay on me? Well, then just lay down, dear. Just lay down. You don't need to scratch a place for yourself. Just lay down. Okay.